Okrama Media's Polity, I'm Sane Lamini. Joining me today is political analyst Professor Raymond Satna to discuss Rugby World Cup, a one-time aspirant rugby spring buckler threat on the significance of the victory now part two. Welcome, Professor. Thank you. So now, Professor, is it correct that uh, the emergence of black players as leaders in the Springbok rugby team is not a, as a result of political decisions, but uh, developing talent and that or, uh, out of it uh, may be a process that top performers like uh, our captain Sia Kolisi emerged? There was a lot of argument over quotas that there should be a certain number of black players in the teams. And according to this Rassi Erasmus, who established a rugby academy, uh, everyone was chosen and had nothing to do with their color. They were chosen on merit, or they, although they consciously sought out people who uh, were promising from the townships and things like that, who didn't have the opportunities to be in the academy, but they chose them on the basis of the talent that they uh, saw and they wanted it to come to fruition in the rugby team. So he is very clear that he didn't make a political statement in choosing these players and in Sia Kolisi being, uh, it's not a him, Nina, but the others, they chose these people on merit. So are you saying that uh, the sense of uh, joy that greeted uh, the team when they came back uh, is is not a significant factor in rebuilding uh, the nation in our country? I think not in itself. I think uh, joy is significant and it's good. And I think people are looking always for what they call good news. So they got some good news and they were very happy, but it's not clear what it means beyond that. And I think something more has to be built for it to be built to change the type of country that we've got. And Professor, how important has symbolism been in, in developing this reaction to the Springbok victory? What do you see as needed to turn this joy into maybe a broader unity and nationhood? People like Mondli Makanya refer to the Springbok emblem as being hated by black people who used to cheer for the overseas teams. And that emblem has now become something that belongs to everyone. So it's been transformed. And Mandela starts to do that in 1995 when he wore the Springbok colors with Francois Pina, something like that, someone like myself, who didn't have the maturity of Mandela to understand that building the nation required symbolism like this, going to see Betsy Favourt, all these things. Mandela didn't really love meeting Betsy Favourt, but he did whatever he could to build the new nation. Now, what I think is necessary now is to ask ourselves if we are involved, feeling joy and involved in uh, reveling in this victory, what can we do? Because Sia Kolisi was very clear that there are issues beyond this. And I think he was referring indirectly to the inequalities, the humiliations, all these things. And people need to address those things, take the unity that they've got and try to have people involved beyond rugby. Rugby, yes, but other things as well. And build a country that we would all like to see where we have care for one another and we build a nation which is prosperous and equal and where we make that joy into something concrete. There was political analyst Professor Raymond Satna in conversation with Polity discussing Rugby World Cup a one-time aspirant rugby springbok reflects on the significance of the victory part two.